and welcome to another Mad Hatter Reviews, late night Mad Hatter Reviews, and I am going to do something that's probably one of my favorite things ever. I am going to review an independent action figure, okay? If you, if you have been paying attention to this channel, I'm kind of a lover of independent art, independent figures. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I'm also a fighter, okay? So don't, don't, don't fuck around. But uh, today... I'm taking a look at something. This is going to be a Savage review, okay? Why is it Savage? Randy Macho Man Savage? No. Lo I love him, but no. Savage Dragon? No. Uh, uh, Doc Savage? No. We are talking about Savage Crucible. And look at this box that they sent me this in. Let me hide my address right here, okay? There you go. Savage Crucible. They reached out to me. They said, hey, Hatter. Uh, we want to get out there in a big way. We're an independent toy company. We're doing cool shit. We got a good head of steam, but we need something that we can only get on the Mad Hatter channel, and that is known as the Mad Hatter Bump, a.k.a. the Hatter Bump. Hatter Bump is not guaranteed, all right? I have to like what I'm seeing, but I think they know I'm going to like it because I saw their stuff at LA uh, Comic Con, and I was just gushing over it. In fact, the little the little uh, trans uh, uh, translucent dude became like my number one figure uh, of that con. So I think I think we're gonna like this. Uh, but just check out this box, okay? This kind of uh, Cthulhu type guy right here on the box. I, I I was afraid uh, when I saw this dropped off because I was like, had this been out for a good hour, Porch Pirates would have been all over this with this sexy box, okay? But I do love that. And then right here, uh, check this out, Savage Crew. Look at look at this, man. That is awesome. Okay. That's a cut above shipping boxes with art, okay? This is a shipping box, by the way, just so everybody knows. This is not come, this is not come in, like, another box, all right? So, uh, yeah, check this out. Dude, this is, like, art that, like, you want to put, like, <laughs> you want to put, like, on the side of a van or, like, heavy metal cover. This is, this is, this is fucking heavy metal right here, okay? Let's stop talking about the box. Let's get savage. Let's, uh, let's snap into, not a Slim Jim, snap into this box right here. So why don't I go ahead and open it up right now? A Savage Lemurian, okay? Check this out. AKA Lizard Warrior. <laughs> but he's, he's awesome. Okay, I can already tell in the package. And uh, I again, I kind of knew that these were going to be good. And it looks great in the package right here uh, on the box. You got uh, uh, some text right here. Let's go ahead and read it. Here on this world, your spirit is a weapon as much as the one in your grip. There's something in each of us tied to the universal's life building blocks fire, rock, air, sea, flesh, spore. In this world alone, in all the cosmos, you get to bring them all out. Savage Crucible. And uh, uh, by the way, uh, Harvinger, I hope I'm saying that right, Studios is uh, who brings you this uh, uh, wonderful, sure to be wonderful toy. So let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up. I think there's something behind this map too. They got a map. By the way, these guys got a graphic novel. Always a good sign when uh, you come out with graphic novels or any kind of lore because it means they're taking it seriously, okay? They're not just going, hey, Lizard Warrior, just put it out, get it out there, okay? People need that shit. It's not that. Uh, there's obviously a lot of love put into this i could already tell the art box is really cool the art on the shipping box is awesome i'm gonna stop talking about boxes let's open it up and see you there before i forget i also want to mention that uh you do get this uh, uh insert right here so you get this uh lemuria uh, uh, uh map right here and you get all the places you can go okay you can you can go to the hoga bay i can't read that it's a little too small for me uh uh you can go to this lake right here maybe you could get some some food right here i heard that the uh the bagels are really good right there so yeah uh check that out as well so here he is the lemurian the savage lemurian from the savage crucible line and uh yeah this is i always get excited when i get like the first figure of like a new line and uh this guy does not disappoint I played around with him uh, last night. Um, uh, this is like the continuation of the video. I had to like uh, just pass out. And uh, I was just kind of like just messing around on the couch. I must have like messed around with this dude for like like 20 minutes without even knowing it. <laughs> uh, he has a lot of great stuff going for him. Articulation is awesome on this guy. I'm just going to warn you. Okay, why, why is it a warning? Okay, I guess it's a good thing. Warning for your wallets. But uh, sculpt on him is great too. He is a uh, wonderful looking, just lizard uh, uh, warrior. Okay, I know he's a Lemurian. Okay, but, uh, you know, let's face it. On Earth, we call these guys lizards. <laughs> so much like texture and differences like in the paint and like and I'm just using his like head as profile as an example because like when you when you you know uh when it's uh, onward 
uh, or front facing, you know, I, I don't know if you can see everything, okay? It kind of has like, uh, you know, it's like a lizard head where it's like na it narrows uh, in the front. But uh, yeah, just just take a look at all that. Painting of the eye and just, again, just the uh, the differences in uh, in paint and the deco and the, and the green and the black. And if you look too, it's like light green in the start and then it kind of tapers into like almost like a like a like an olive uh green uh uh towards the uh towards the front there and uh just uh check out just the the paintwork right here with the black here are the differences in paint some light there how it fades this is really really nice and just kind of like the front differences in color so so cool and the texture is really nice too it's got like bumpy lizard texture so the paint on this is really cool the texture on him is really cool and then i'll show you guys this articulation uh let me just show you what he comes with real quick so uh this was uh, um this is a, a blink and you can miss it kind of thing it's an insert in the box of a map take that out and this thing is uh in there and uh, i really like this kind of like postcard postcard style art the the uh, uh lemurian in all his armor now these guys are going to have like armor packs and i think you could also get them with armor but uh yeah very nice art right there and then you got some uh some stats, Imperial Sentry, Saving Throws, okay, very, very like Dungeons and Dragons, Show you shows you all the moves, got that right there, and then uh, accessories are pretty light, I don't know how, ma how many accessories he needs, but you also have an accessory pack for that, so you have the grabbing hands right there, and then you have this really cool like, what would you call this, like a, like a bone sword, okay, it looks like he like ripped the, the jaws off like some creature, which yeah, I mean he did, and then he, he tied it, he tied it to this like like sword slash spear and you know bob's your uncle you just you just fight with that and uh yeah a really really cool inventive awesome weapon the the thing that i was most impressed with this guy is just the articulation of him you can do so much stuff that i'm doing currently he's looking up uh you can you can uh, uh uh have his jaw open you can kind of like look to the side you can look to the side this way i do wish there was uh i don't know sometimes i'm back and forth on if there should be like a joint in the bottom of the neck but then i know that that does kind of like ruin aesthetic okay you have a really nice aesthetic with the clavicle right there but uh, yeah i said clavicle i i know body parts okay sometimes that looks good Sometimes it doesn't, you know? Um, so you, yeah, you have the arms, you have the, uh, there's like a bicep swivel right here. I do wish the elbow could go a little more than this, but my fear is that you would lose aesthetic uh, if you did. Uh, you know, you would, because right now it's like, check it out, there's no like, it's, there's, it's, it's like a seamless kind of like aesthetic. There's no, uh, there's no ball joints, there's nothing like that. But uh, I want, I'm, I'm greedy with posability. You know, sometimes you want, all the posability uh you get the uh the hinges on the hands and then like the buck system right here is just like really you can just do like a lot of stuff like you can go back like this much and then he can hunch forward like that much i mean check that out he could even do like that thing where it's like where he's standing and like um uh, his 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 torso is just kind of like back but his his um upper torso is like front forward like just kind of like that like lurch sort of move so very very cool like he has like he feels like lizardy like his proportions like feel like he's like all like gaunt and and and, and muscly uh, then you have the uh i mean what would you call that just like a loincloth that's sort of like uh ripped and tattered sort of like floats uh in a uh in an interesting way and uh you can kind of like float it up for maximum posability he's got kind of like a loincloth under the loincloth situation and that's good because it holds on to the tail and the tail has like a hinge right at the uh right at the top that you could do a lot with you can spin it around and then of course you get like sort of like a bendy bendy plastic uh a uh, uh, situation that i mean it takes a little bit of effort but there you go and then you get the legs and the legs can do uh all that good stuff right here there's no like thigh cut and i like that okay thigh cuts bother me they just they rarely look good for me the uh, that does that much and then you get a nice rocker on the ankle and then you get the toe articulation look at that right there by the way just so you know the pants uh can uh come off you can just pop uh with some heat you just pop the legs right off and uh you can uh, uh you can get the pants off uh, also i did want to mention i forgot this completely in the articulation this right here probably this is the thing that i was going to mention uh was the most impressive and then <laughs> i i got lost in its eyes but uh the 
uh, uh, the butterfly joints, the back butterfly joints, are crazy in terms of like how much they they, they move out. Okay, basically what that does is if you uh, uh, situate his arms correctly and you move the back uh, butterfly joints, you can basically just kind of like bring his arms together. So if he's like holding a sword or something like that, no problem, okay? I mean, look at that, all right? There's not a lot of figures that can do that comfortably. And he can go uh, pretty much, he can, he can cross, he can cross over, okay? He can do, he can do all that. So that is an awesome feature. And it's, uh, all, all that means is that this, and this is a very soft plastic, it just kind of like uh, uh, leaves it's casing lightly, but then it's really easy. You can just bring it right back. So very, very cool uh, piece of articulation. I didn't want to miss that. So much stuff that you can do with this guy. You can get him into all the lizardy poses. And when I saw him at LA Comic Con, they had all these guys posed up. You ever played Soul Calibur? You had that guy, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Lizard Man. Uh, how could I forget such a such a simple name? But uh, <laughs> you, could, you can uh, recreate that. Uh, armor this guy up and uh, there you go you can uh, fulfill your soul caliber dreams too here he is just with some other uh action figures that uh I, I just thought like maybe he would link up with so um this right here is uh, uh gladiators line uh from Cess Ray, and um i think this is like a good uh matchup because i don't know you could have like gladiators like fighting like lizard warriors uh which i think could be cool i also put him with uh, uh animal warriors of the kingdom I don't know that it's like um, a great fit together because um, sizing, there's a, these are scaled up a little more and there's like kind of like a cartoony aspect to, to, to these in a good way, okay? Where this one is, um, uh, has a little more like kind of like gritty realism. So I'd probably link him up with like, yeah, something like the, like the Cessary line. Or um, uh, the other thing is Savage Crucible is also coming out with their own like humans as well, like Frank Frazetta, like type Conan. So um, it might just be one of those things where it's just like um, uh, uh, fits in to the more realistic lines. So I wanted just to like put like Slythe in there because I don't know, maybe Slythe has some like, uh, <laughs> like uh, you know, lizard minions. We'll say that ever since I saw this guy, there was something else I was planning and let me try that now. And there you go. <laughs> Uh, this Lemurian actually makes a really awesome uh, uh, lizard, a.k.a. Uh, Kurt Connors uh, 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 lizard from uh, Spider-Man. Okay, it's so a Yamaguchi Spider-Man. Uh, but uh, look at this. <laughs> look how awesome this is. And and this becomes like then also like a super poseable lizard as well. Um, I had this um, idea for a while ever since I saw this at uh, LA Comic Con. And I was preparing, so I got these these uh, purple stretchy pants off eBay, as well as this uh, uh, wired coat. And uh, man, I, I think I made like <laughs> like my perfect uh, lizard. Uh, I mean, I like the Marvel Legends one, but it's it's a little too, uh, well, I never got the big, big one, the Build-A-Figure. And the other one I got is okay, but it's a little cartoony. But this guy, uh, he just has like a lot of realism. So he goes with, I don't know, something maybe like, not that this is realistic, but like, uh, this is kind of like a realistic look for a, for a Kurt, uh, for for a Dr. Kurt Connors, come on, show show him some love. I, I'm very very happy with this. In fact, I might this might be the way I roll, and then I just get like an extra one, and I have like a, a like a, a Savage Crucible uh, sort of like section. But uh, just keep this guy as the lizard because why not? I got the coat, I got everything. Man, this is uh, <laughs> this is really cool. I think this is uh, this is so fun. It's like so unique. That's what I, I love about like action figures where you can kind of like. I don't know, put your own uh, spin on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, if that's not the lizard, I mean, I don't know what is. So uh, yeah, I wanted just to uh, uh, deviate a bit, just show what I was thinking. So what do we think of the Lemurian? We think that he's just a lovely boy, okay? He's a little scaly. He's a little lizardy. okay? Uh, he's not the kind of guy you bring home to mom, okay? Unless mom likes lizards, okay? Maybe she's got like a weird fetish, who knows? But uh, I, uh, I'm i thinking this guy as a grunt warrior, he's really cool and um, I am in on the Savage Crucible line. Congratulations, Savage Crucible, I'm in, okay? I'm, 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 I'm getting these, uh, the other guys in this line. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna, you know, start on this. This is the start of a, a new line and I'm happy to support an independent company and, uh, uh, you know, just doing cool, 
cool shit. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Okay, I don't think did I ever, I don't think I ever said that before. I hope you enjoyed re re those reviews. I guess I always uh, in in my heart hoped that, but I never articulated that. So maybe I'm just kind of coming out of my shell. Okay, so let me have a moment, will you? So that's all. Uh, uh, Savage Crucible, Savage Lumerian, Randy Macho Man Savage. R.I.P. Uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.